Hello, you beautiful degenerates, and welcome to the first ever episode of Responding to Your Comments. Uh, we don't we don't usually do anything like this because most of the time things are pretty chill. But and not that these aren't chill, but I just wanted to take a take a minute to go through some of the comments that we got on last week's video. But if this is in the future and more videos have come out, it'll be a, a while back. But I, I recently did a reaction to Dead & Co. playing Sugary in 2023 in Chicago. Okay, so if you if you haven't watched that video, I mean, I guess you can. But it, the 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 idea I'm trying to get across is that we 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 shouldn't take people's opinion as them stating a fact. Right. So so I knew any time that you you talk any kind of what would be perceived as trash about in anything that people care about, people are going to think that you're you're personally attacking them. And so they'll they'll kind of personally attack you back. Now, I wasn't I was ready for some clap back. I was ready for people to disagree. And, th and that's OK. Right. Because I, I was raised to understand that everybody has an opinion and everybody's opinion is valid to them. Right. So at no point am I trying to tell anyone that I'm right. You know, like the reaction videos are inherently opinion pieces. Does that make sense? Right. That, that any time that you show something to someone and I'd rather give you my genuine reaction to something than lie to you. Right. So am I a fan of Dead & Co? Not particularly. And that's OK. At no point have I ever said that you shouldn't like them. Right, so if it's your favorite thing, if you love John Mayer, you love what they're doing, that's fucking, that's awesome. If you're, if Dead & Co. is the reason you got into the Grateful Dead, that's fucking amazing. If you watch this channel because John Mayer fucking sparked inspiration in you, I love that, man. And it doesn't even come down to, like, John Mayer as a person, because I feel like we could get high together, but I would still be like, hey, man, what do you, why do you do that with your voice? What is that? You know, I would still ask those questions. I don't say things that I wouldn't say to someone's face, right? And I know that that in this day and age, especially when you have the internet and everybody is, it has a platform, right? Everybody has a platform to share their opinion. I think that we get caught up in, again, someone speaking their opinion is fact. And I think that that is misguided. I think that that's very misguided and it leads to a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of miscommunication. And I just wanted to go through these comments and respond, you know, in, in a video form as opposed to, you know, I responded to some of these, but uh, our first one is probably, I think it's the most recent one and I've, I've blacked out names. Uh, so uh, this one says, this is one of my favorite channels, but I think I've got to stop watching the D and C reactions because I know what you're going to say and I'm going to disagree all the way through, which is, uh, you know, which is fine. <laughs> Uh, which is what's great about everyone being allowed to have their own opinion. Hmm, that's perfect. Uh, I do appreciate that you flag parts you do like on occasion, but I do sometimes feel like it's similar to when one of my kids says they don't like dinner. They've made their mind up before they taste it, and it feels like you've made your mind up before listening to the song. That's not true. I go into every single one of these with an open mind. Like, and again, like, so, so I grew up in, so I'm a 90s kid, right? I was born in 1992. And I think John Mayer's first album came out in like 2001, I think, right? So I've, I've known about him and I've heard his music since I was a child, right? I grew up hearing him on, on the radio. I grew up hearing, you know, his blues trio and stuff like that. And it never, never, not even once did it like resonate with me, right? His, his voice just never did anything for me. And that's okay. And now when you, you add that, to the music that I, I feel like I owe my life to, I just like it. It's not gonna it's not gonna sink in with me. I don't I don't see it as me being a fussy child who doesn't like their dinner. Like I'm not an adult and can't form my own opinions about things, right? So I would never tell anybody anything like this. I'm not saying that like oh well you've already made up that you like it, so you're also like a kid about dinner, right? No, that's that's absurd. Um, Oh well, love everything else on here, especially the lessons and the history you give when teaching, and that's and that's cool. Woody, come here. Um, and then he says, "Would have never found you without John, though, since he started me on my dead journey," which is which is awesome. I love that. I, and I've always said, like, if you like the music and you like the way they do it, go see them. 
go go fucking do it, man. Absolutely. Uh, but as someone who plays this music for a living, I don't usually go out and see other dead groups unless like they're my friends, unless I know them and I want to go support that way. Otherwise, I'll play it. Does that make sense? I, I, I don't want to come off as pompous, but like I don't even go to music festivals unless I'm playing. I've got other stuff to do. I'm, I'm focused on what, what I'm doing. Although there is respect because people just people are doing what they do with it, right? Like I, I want people to play the music. I want these to be the new standards that are passed down generation to generation, right? Um, but to say you need to stop watching the, the and and so just so you know, you guys asked for these. Like so, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done another Dead and Co reaction if you guys hadn't been asking for them, right? Because you guys want to see me be won over. And I, I, I have gotten better about saying things that I do like. Like at the end of that sugary, they did this like they did this thing where they're um, they, they did this thing where they like kind of like cut. They cut uh, through the, the chords. They start they start hitting the chords harder. Bah, bah, bah. And I was like, that shit's dope. That's great. Um, and I wonder who came up with that. You know, that was that was really cool. So I, I think that, again, the as soon as you, you got to you got to like give it a second, because I know that a lot of people watch these videos and stop as soon as they hear something they don't like. And that's not that's not fair to to me, first of all, for making the video. And then it's not fair to you either for not being able to like see when I do say something nice. So you can understand that I'm a person and I'm not going to just give you some kind of like fake vapid reaction to just say the thing that you want to hear no it's about my reaction to it right so let's move on to the next one um really want to see davy react to a dead cover band he actually digs hey again don't get your like i'll do it absolutely because i i like dark star i like j rad i like terrapin flyer um and i'll still have something to say like I, a reaction video is a gamut Right. So even in that last Dark Star reaction I did, I said, you know, this this because uh, it was shakedown into Hey Pocky Way and the shakedown was uninspired. It was uninspired and it felt kind of sloppy. So that's what I said. But the Hey Pocky Way was fucking on fire. But people probably stopped watching after I said something they didn't like about the shakedown when they could have just seen me groove out to the fucking Hey Pocky Way, which was fucking awesome. Um, so I do do that. You know, um, let's see. Okay. <laughs> there were a few bars at the end there that were good. The outro crescendo also was cool. I agree, but that is a cover band. And if a cover band can't do the cover song better than the original band, uh, then they shouldn't be covering it. Interesting. And then it got, I just had to put this in. Cause I mean, these are kind of funny. Uh, what a dry and stupid mindset. Be nicer. You know, uh, you play a song because you like it, not because you think you do it better. Correct. So you just want all the dead music to stop completely because we know damn well no one can make that music on the level of the real band. Okay, so there's there's a little bit of something in that too because once you put something out into the world, it's not yours anymore, right? So as soon as, like, it can mean whatever it means to you, but as soon as you put that out there for other people to witness and enjoy and, and, and do their own thing with it, it's theirs, right? So if as soon as, if I were to put out music and as soon as it leaves me, you know, um, it's no longer what I intended it to be. It's what people interpret it to be. Does that make sense? That's that's why that's why Robert Hunter, when whenever he was asked about what lyrics mean, he would dodge the question or straight up refuse, um, because it's it's the art art is supposed to be what it means to you. It's supposed to strike you in a way, and it means whatever it means to you, right? That's 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 the beautiful thing about the human experience. Um, I don't agree that if if you can't do the song better, you shouldn't do it. But I also don't necessarily agree that um, that the dead is the only person that can play the dead songs the best. Because I just think in a sheer statistical point, there's going to be somebody over the span of time since these these songs have come out that's going to do it better. There's always for each song, there's going to be somebody who does it better than the the original. I, I mean, uh, and that's, again, subjective. All of this is subjective. This is all opinion, right? So that's that's what I want. I just want to cultivate more of a nurturing mindset here on the channel to where we respect each other's opinion. And it's totally, like, a lot of these are, but there are quite a few where it's just 
things are misunderstood as someone speaking to fact. And that just isn't, that's just not the vibe. You know what I mean? Like, none of this stuff really matters. Like, I care about the songs. I don't really even, like, I, I'm not, I don't really, I, I love you guys and I love the culture for the most part. But that's not what I'm thinking about. That's not why I do this. I do this because th this music has literally kept me from putting a bullet in my head. Right? So it's like, to me, it's about the songs. It's about the words that hit me. It's about the notes that hit me. It's not about the people that did it. Right? I care about the music. I care about what it makes me feel and how I'm able to make other people feel through it. Does that make, does that make sense at all? No? Oh. All right. Next one. I prefer John's voice to Jerry's on some songs. Bertha, Black Muddy River, Althea, Cold Rain and Snow all come to mind. And then the response to that was, how? Um, this one just kind of made me laugh because, like, this is one of the ones where I, you know, I don't agree. But if that's, if that's how you feel about it, fucking hell yeah, dude. Blast John Mayer's Black Muddy River or his Althea. That one kind of made me laugh. But, um... Yeah, again, like if it, it's, it all has to do with personal taste, first of all, because again, like I'm not a huge blues guy. Blues bores me. And again, opinion, right? Not saying that blues is boring. Blues is boring to me. Um, so uh, and in that stance, you know, cool, man. Cool. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy it. I'm glad you like it. Um, I think that the how is funny, though. Let's see. I'm gl I'm so glad John doesn't play it like Jerry. He plays it like John Mayer. This is somebody who just likes John Mayer, which is cool. So you, you have diehards that just like the person, right? Like dig the way he does it, digs, digs, his, digs his thing, you know? Cool. Love it. Oh, let's see here. It's all complete garbage. It was just a money grab, and even Billy knew it. Maybe. Maybe it was. But see, my, my, my thought on that is so they're getting older. Right, they're they're getting older, and it, the you know, life doesn't go on forever. Uh, you will shed your corporeal form. You will uh, shake off this mortal coil. Um, and I think that if it were me, I would be trying to cash out as much as I could to leave behind as much as I could for my people, right? For the crew, for my family, for everybody else. I would be trying to like do the big last hurrah. And yeah, fuck yeah, cash in, dude. You've, you've created, like, especially for the original members, you've created something that is going to live way past you. So why not? Why, why not try to cash in and do all the money grabs? It's fine. It does, it, 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 it adds to the commodification of something that used to be, at least, at least in, in from what I've understood and from what I've gathered and from what I've researched, there, there used to be a huge emphasis on for the people not for the people in the band, right? And now it seems to have kind of switched where you have like these, you know, the the the, the dead spec PRS, um, you've got the, the $20,000 alligator, uh, you know, uh, reproduction. You've got them doing their final tour and then being like, psych, gotcha, doing the, the sphere. And I, you know, I don't, I don't know how I feel. I don't feel great about those things. Uh, but again, like that's not, it's not my music. I don't own it. I don't get to say anything about it. Again, these are all just uh, opinions. Uh, but without hearing it from the Billy Goat's mouth, you're never, you're never going to really know. Uh, let's see. Oh, speaking of that, that dead spec PRS, uh, lucky enough to have gotten the dead spec at retail. Thing plays unbelievably well. I get the built versus bought argument, but this is a special guitar. Okay. Because one, it's limited to a thousand pieces. And two, it's the exact guitar that Mayer used on tour. Well, it's not the exact guitar. He didn't touch it, right? He didn't play a thousand of them. No, it's, it's to, the, to the specifications of the one he played on tour. Um, uh, can't get the same magic and wow factor by just putting a blaster in an SE. I disagree. But yeah, I mean, like, it's got a different finish on it. But otherwise, you could literally do the stuff he did to it. You can put a string tree on it, a brass nut, and a blaster, and it's the same thing. Um, now, I was going off of the assumption that uh, they were like five to six thousand dollars. I do know now that they were three grand, like coming out of the gate, um, which is which is fine. And to say that he didn't have a hand in it is ridiculous. Because somebody said that he didn't have a hand in the. 
I think that's in one of these comments that he didn't have a hand in that, but he, he absolutely did. He had a hand in it. He had a hand in, in making the silver sky. Um, and I just, I, I don't like if, if someone wants it, that's awesome. Like with the $20,000 alligator guitars, you know, if, if you've got the money for it and you're just going to put it up on your wall as like a museum piece, that's fine. But it's, it's, it's weird to me that you would take something that Jerry definitely didn't pay $20,000 for his alligator, you know? There were fucking cigarette burns on it. He fucking would use that thing as a baseball bat. Um, but I just, like, again, that, that would be like me, you know, if St. Owsley gets big or Chance in the Void gets big. That's like me making, you know, making a deal to make birdie guitars, right? Because this is my guitar. This is technically my signature guitar because I made this guitar. And it's technically dead spec. But I don't think that I would ever do that, man. Um, now, would I would I license the, the likeness of it if someone wanted to build it for me and do like a Davy fucking guitar? Yeah, but you know what? It's going to be cheap. You know what? I would I would sell it off to Fred. I would sell it off to somebody who would make it under a grand. You know, like to to be able to do that because like you know I I only put seven hundred dollars worth of stuff in it and I did as high end as I could. So I to to me, but even then I don't even know if I would do that. I don't know if I have that in me to want to do that. I don't feel like I have any right to like kind of again do my part to commodify this music that I do not own. Does that make sense? I, I don't know. Again, these are all these are all opinions. And if you want the fucking the, the dead spec silver sky, dude, fucking fucking go for it. I, I also just don't like strats. Like I don't like the triple single coil stuff. And that's again, that's personal preference. Let's see. Love this one. Well, first, sugary is a blues song. You're gonna hear some blues riffs. Thanks, man. It, it can't be all sixteenth notes, Davey, if you know what I mean. That's personal attack. Uh, so, cause I, I, I play fast. I try to at least. And that's just, cause again, like that's, that's, that's how I play guitar. That's how I interpret the music. Cause this is again, cause I'm going to do it the way I do it. And you can feel however you want to feel about it. Obviously he doesn't like that and that's okay. Uh, a little phrasing pause and the most underrated musical note in music. The rest is sometimes most appropriate to you. To your, to, to your opinion and what you want to do, right? To what feels good to your ear, which is cool. A little space between thoughts works. And, and again, like, you, you know, you can... And this is a little bit geared at me, right? And the way that I play music, which again is fine. You know, you can, you can come at me and, and do, do whatever. I'm not going to be, you know, butthurt about it. I don't, I don't really like the personal attacks because I'm not personally attacking anyone if i say I, i'm not a huge fan of john mayer's voice or his bluesy guitar musings that's not that's not me judging him as a person you know that's not me being like except when he did the weird fucking guitar thing when he did that fuck eh, thing i don't like that that doesn't come off that doesn't come off as professional um but yeah you know uh that's that's fine. Uh, Jam is also gonna sing to his ability just like anyone would. Bob chose him for a reason. Reach, yeah. Like it or not, Mayor drew a lot of folks to music, which benefits anyone making a living off his music. Absolutely, I say I've never not said that. I'll wager at least twenty percent of your audience stems from people that come from. Absolutely, dude. Yeah. Remember, if you get okay, and that's and that's all good. Um, I I get that this can be triggering for people. Because you don't know how to listen to other people's opinions without then internalizing it on yourself. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not guilty of the same thing, you know? Like, we're all people, right? We, anytime we hear someone's opinion that we don't like, you can get that, and then you want to, like, feel like you're backed in a corner and feel like you have to strike, too. But again, it's like, I, I don't care. Like, I'm still going to do what I do, regardless. Just like John Mayer doesn't give a fuck about the video I made. You know, he doesn't give a fuck about you guys defending him in the comments. He doesn't care, right? Just like, you know, I'm going to play the way I play. I'm going to sing the way I sing. And, you know, another thing, Sugary is a blues song. I kind of disagree. I don't think that Sugary is a blues song. I think you can play it bluesy. Absolutely. But first of all, a lot of blues songs are in four. The song's in three or six, however you want to count it. It's more of a waltz, 
if anything. It's a bluesy waltz. There's also more chord changes in it than any normal blues song. You know, like very rarely are you like getting away from that one, four, five, right? You're not really doing anything other than a one, four, five in blues. But you have an F sharp minor and a C sharp minor in sugary. So to me, that kind of takes it out of the realm of blues and into more of the realm of like a an expansion, right? Because I, I say it all the time, you want to you want to elevate something instead of regurgitate something. Right, and just because Dead and Company elevates in a different way, and I'm not a huge fan of it, doesn't mean that it's not doing the thing. Doesn't mean that I don't respect it for it doing its thing. Um, I mean, even then, the 16th notes, fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'll play as fast as I fucking want to. Um, you seem to react to Dead and Co for the attention of disliking them. This isn't the best way to phrase it, but you talk about JM's voice and tone and guitar sales not being in line with the vibe of GD, but bitching about it on a YouTube video trying to make money on the views doesn't seem in line with Jerry's philosophy or vibe either. Okay, so breaking this one down, you seem to react to Dead & Co for the attention of disliking them. No, you guys know that I'm not a fan of Mayor, but you still ask me to react to Dead & Co. I only did this because you guys have asked me to do it again. Um, Talk about JM's voice and tone and guitar sales not being in line with the vibe of GD, but bitching about it on a YouTube video trying to make money on the views doesn't seem in line with Jerry's philosophy or, or anything. Either. And that's just, a, that's just a fundamental misunderstanding of how YouTube works. So not only did Dead & Co. copyright those videos, but the Dead also copyright the music within them. Okay, so I have to, anytime that I want to make money off of one of the lessons, I have to dispute the copyright claim that comes. And with these videos, these reaction videos, I don't make money off of them. I don't fight the claim to make whatever little money I would make off of them. They actually make the money from my videos. They claim it. They take the money from the videos. So I don't make anything off of those. Um, so, you know, and again, it's not bitching. It's a reaction. It's a... It, it's an opinion piece, right? So if you can, if you want to see it as bitching, that's you again taking me saying my opinion and not listening to anything other than the thing that triggered you. And so, like, what? Don't don't put yourself in a situation where you feel like your 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 piece is gonna be fucked with, right? If you feel like something's gonna trigger you, like if you see me pop up with Dead and Co, you know, like I I don't know, man. Give it a shot and just try to breathe through the things that make your butthole tense up, or don't watch it. Because you, you get to vote with your view, right? So if you don't, if you don't think you're going to like it, you don't have to watch it, man. I'm just making videos. These are just videos. Uh, why don't you just react to a dead recording instead of shitting on Dead & Co. for 20 minutes? Again, I don't think you watched the whole video. <laughs> and I could react to a dead recording, but again, I'm going to give an honest reaction, so I'm still probably going to say shit you don't like or you don't agree with. That's just the nature of it. Right, so anytime that I watch any reaction videos, there's always something someone says that I don't agree with, but I still like, I'll still watch the video to the end, you know, and I definitely wouldn't leave a comment on it. Um, let's see, just my two cents, but the world gave us one Jerry, and quite frankly, we don't deserve another. And just because someone is carrying the torch, so to speak, mind you, with the blessing of the remaining dead, you can't expect to appreciate the things you love about Jerry and another human. In my humble opinion, it's unfair to Mayor and Dead and & Co., and in some ways slightly disrespectful to Jerry. He's dead. He doesn't. There's no way. <laughs> uh, he stands alone, and I think remembering to appreciate that while these artists pay respect to his legend is more important than being frustrated with how closely Mayor's sound compares to Jerry. Again, the universe gave us one Garcia, and that's how it was meant to be. I don't compare them. I'm not comparing them. Right, so that 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 was one thing that came up quite a few times in the comments, and it kind of it kind of baffles me. I'm not saying I don't like Mayor's voice because it's not Jerry. I don't. I'm not saying I don't like the bluesy licks in his guitar playing because it's not Jerry. Those are things that I just don't that I wouldn't listen to independently. Right, like I'm I don't have John Mayer albums. I don't have his blues trio albums. I do, I don't like it. Like, before he even was with the dead, I was like, mm, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like the Stevie Ray Vaughan, Eric Clapton, B.B. King stuff. I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, and definitely, like, his poppy voice. I don't, I'm not a fan. And that's okay. It's okay, guys. And I'm not comparing him to Jerry. Jerry's dead. 
He's long gone. He's super dead, man. Um, so I, I, I try to see them for what they are. I'm, I honestly appreciate it more when people deviate more. Like, have you guys seen Punk is Dead? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's something different, and that's cool. I like it when people do different stuff with it and make it your own, do, do different things with it. And yeah, he's got the he was picked by the remaining dead again, I think, for reach, for getting asses in seats and moving it to a new generation, which I'm all for. Let's see. All the Jerry wannabes, but nobody can play John Mayer songs. Dude's like one of the best players. Y'all are haters because you're stuck in your Jerry stuff and never learned your style. I, d I disagree just because I, I know that I have my own style. Uh, you can learn Jerry's songs. You can copy his guitar. You can start a cover band of the dead. John is master of theory without the ego. Have you ever seen one of his, his interviews? Uh, like, what do you want him to play the actual Tiger gu guitar and be play just like Jerry? Jerry's gone, man. I don't see anybody able to tastefully play like this in so long. I don't. I mean, your, your, your grasp on the English language is tenuous at best, my dude. Um... Nobody can play John Mayer songs. That's so funny. Uh, I, you know, I, I've only ever learned, I think, two Jerry solos, and they are completely needed for the song. It's Terrapin and Help on the Way Slipknot. Everything else I make up. You know, I have my Jerryisms, but I definitely have my own tone and style through and through. You know how I know? Because Waldo, <laughs> the guy who knows Jerry tone has told me that my tone is trash. You know, this was a long time ago, you know, and I've, you know, I have his buffers in my guitars and stuff like that, but he's, you know, I've been told by plenty of people that I don't do it like Jerry. So I'm, you know, I feel, I feel pretty confident in that, that I've got my own style. Um, you can learn Jerry, and no, I don't want John to play like Jerry. I want him to do his own thing, you know? E even if I don't like it, I still want you to do your own thing. And that's okay. I'm just a dude on the internet. My opinion doesn't matter. Let's see. Davey, we all know your feelings towards John and could have guessed what you were going to say before even watching. But come on, man. How can you even claim to have an honest reaction when you just decide to play your own solo over his solo the entire time? Now that's what's disrespectful. No, it's not. My response was, I can do whatever I want on my videos. Because, again, they're my videos. If you want to go watch the actual video of them doing it with no stops, no reaction, no me noodling over it, you can go do that. i tell you which one it is. You're, 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 you watch this video. I mean, maybe you watch it to get pissed off. Maybe maybe you want to have, have something fire you up. But I don't think it was disrespectful. I think that was me just trying to entertain myself through something I wasn't having fun with. Um, I love that though. How can you even claim to have an honest reaction? I don't know, because I can. Let's see. You could have just said at the beginning that you don't like John Mayer. We get it. Would have saved me 20 minutes. You didn't have to watch it, man. And if and if you've watched any of the other ones before, you would already know that, right? Let's see. John sings the hell out of this song. I get watching a guy live your dreams makes you a bit bitter. Okay, so I, re I replied to this one. Uh, but come on, John brought this band and its music to a whole new group of fans and kept the trip rolling. Your reaction makes me think of Uncle Rico watching Patrick Mahomes ball out. Okay, so first off, it's your opinion that he sings the song well. I'm not a fan of it, which is okay. Second, my dream is not to play with Dead & Co., so there's no bitterness. There's not. I don't like I'm not bitter about it like I I, I still make my living make playing this music I'm fine I'm good um, third I agree that he has brought the music to a new generation which is great and fourth I bet I can throw that silver sky over that mountain hit him with the old Uncle Rico because <laughs> like I really try to like I really try to be understanding of you guys right because I don't I'm not here to make enemies right I'm just I'm I'm here to play the music teach you the music and, and try to have a good time and try to, to you know, live, live a good life and be a good person. And it's okay that, like, we have differing opinions sometimes. That's like the spice of life, you know, variety, baby. So, like, be, don't be so precious with it. Don't, don't, don't let someone else's opinion of something you like upset you to the point where you feel like you have to then put them down. Because you don't know John Mayer. 
right? You guys aren't boys. You don't know him. You, you don't. You've never met him before, I would wager to guess. And if you had, it was probably in passing, right? He doesn't know you. <laughs> I have more interaction with you than you will ever probably have with John Mayer. Does that make sense? Um, but no, I'm not. Like, why would I be bitter? Why would I be bitter? Like that, like that. I'm not, I'm not a famous musician, dude. I'm just a dude on YouTube, and that's fine with me. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> Davey, you're the man, but I find it hard to believe if you went to a Dead & Co. show that you wouldn't feel the love. Even with your distaste of mayor, I think you would still be able to enjoy the magic that resides at the Dead shows. Even you can admit there's a difference between a live recording and being present at the show. So, I have seen Dead & Co. I saw them a few times in 2015 when they first got started. I have always loved the feeling of being at, like, a, a live Dead show. But again, since I've been playing it, I don't go, right? And it's not because I don't love the, like, the vibe and I don't love the music itself, but it's like, I want to help. I want to provide that, right? Like, I want to play the shows. I not, not that I want the attention. It's just, like, I, I like the way that me and my boys do it. I like the way that we're able to transmute it and the way that we're able to make people feel and stuff. And like, I want to be a facilitator. I don't want to be, I've never wanted to be the guy in the audience. I've always wanted to be the guy on stage because I feel like I have something to give. I feel like that's how I'm able to help people, right? I can't be a doctor. I can't be a lawyer. I, I don't want to do those things. I want to be a creative and I want to make people feel stuff. I want to help. I want to help change your vibrations, dog. And I don't get that sitting in the audience in awe of someone else doing it. I just don't get that. It doesn't jive with me. Um, so I, I agree with the fact that, like, yeah, I would have a good time at the show. I like the music. Of course I would have a good time at the show. But even then, I would still have, again, I would still have something to say because I'm a person and I have an opinion. Davey coming off as an old man yelling at the wall in this one. I am literally yelling at a wall all the time because you're not here. I'm literally yelling at a camera all the time. I am an old man yelling at a wall. And I love all the agreements he got on that. Like he was giving it to me. You really reamed my butthole on that one, buddy. Mm. Okay. I'm just here to say that I never saw Jerry or the Grateful Dead, but I have thankfully been given the opportunity to see members of that band, and I'm happy about that. I understand it isn't everyone's cup of tea, and that's also cool. The vulturing by PRS shouldn't fall on Mayer, though. It absolutely should. He did it. Opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one. Okay. You clearly do care, though. He posted a video criticizing Mayer for his bluesy guitar playing and then completely contradict yourself by saying, I don't care, though. Seems like a fake nonchalant attitude. Also, everyone has a unique voice, right? Jerry is unfortunately no longer a physical being on Earth, and everyone else is kind of just trying their best. Also, it seems a tad disrespectful. I like the way you do it. I like the way Dead & Co. does it. I like the way DSO does it. But no one does it like Jerry and Grateful Dead, and that point has already been made ad nauseum. Uh, don't become just another hater on YouTube. I'm not. <laughs> um, I've, spent, I've spent a lot of time like trying to help you guys play these songs, right? And playing these songs for you guys and, and doing my best, you know? Um, so I said that I don't care because when it comes down to it, I don't. Like when I'm not when I'm not doing the reaction video to Dead and Co, I'm not really thinking about it. Unless it's like in the news and we're like talking about it on the podcast, you know? Like I don't think about them. I'm thinking about what I'm doing. I'm thinking about how I'm going to help keep I'm going to I'm going to be the best steward of the music that I can be, right? Um, so I just I I don't I don't agree with that. I don't agree that it's a fake nonchalant attitude. Me being fake and nonchalant would be me, you know, trying to trying to agree with everyone, trying to sanitize it, trying to make everybody happy, which you can't do. So I'd rather be genuine. That, that's how we have a following, right? The only reason that, that most people watch our channel, watch me and Toby, is because we're honest. We are who we are. We don't try to hide things from you guys. We don't hide that we're having a bad day. We don't hide that we're going through stuff. We don't hide that we're people. 
Right? And we're not trying to sanitize this stuff. We're not trying to be unoffensive. I don't care. Because ultimately, I don't. Like, I don't care about Dead & Co. Like, all the more power to them, but I'm doing a thing. Because they're all going to die soon, right? And I'm still going to be here playing. You know? So, yeah, just another hater on YouTube I, I disagree with. You know, there's, I'm not, I don't even say that I hate Dead & Co. I'm not a fan. That doesn't mean I hate it. I don't have, like, it's not the bane of my existence. I don't think about it. Oh, is that it? Is that all of them? Okay. Well, that was 35 minutes. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, I just I just wanted to take the time to do that with you guys. You know, I, I hope that I hope that some of it was informative and I hope that we can just like kind of have like an open dialogue about these things because I don't think that we should take things so fucking personal. Right? Because we we're we're all in this together. We're all here. We're all on the rock spinning through space real fast. We're all going to die. Eventually. You know what I mean? So just enjoy the time that you're here. Spend time on stuff you like. And maybe don't ask me to do more Dead & Co. reactions. You know? <laughs> so I, I love you all very much. Uh, let's, uh, let's be good to each other. You know, and you can get mad at me in the comments again. That's fine. I'll just do another video talking about those comments, right? Well, I mean, and this this format was just interesting. It just crossed my mind because it would be easier. I feel like it would be easier to just kind of have an actual talk with you guys over them and, and actually respond to them in real time as reading them instead of just, you know, leaving comments on them. Like, on some of them I have replied, you know, I'm having fun with it. I'm out here having fun making jokes, but... I hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, all the stuff you're supposed to do to the to the hater on YouTube. And uh, I love you very much. 